This is the new FLIR-1, which is a personal thermal imaging camera. It incorporates the latest thermal sensor technology as well as a visible camera. We extract the edges from the visible image and overlay that on the thermal data, transmit it through this accessory to the iPhone application. And what I'm showing you right now is a color image of my colleague Martin. And you can see that the white and red elements are representing hot temperatures and the blue and black represent cold temperatures. And I have a temperature readout of the cross point that says his temperature on his face is about 33, 34 degrees C. Okay. And I can change the color palettes to show the scene with different colors. In this case, white is hot and black is cold. And okay. now I go to one where yellow and white are hot and black and blue are cold. Okay. And you can capture a still image or a video clip and save it to the camera. Okay. And you can use it for any number of applications. So approximately what will be the size of a five minute video if you record uh, with this particular accessory on the device? How much will be the storage? Uh, well, it's, be it's, it's relatively low because the, the image itself is only 80 by 60 pixels. Okay. So the, the pixel depth is very small. It's a very, you know, small megabytes for even long video clips. So how it can be useful for the consumers or for the business users out there? Sure. For a consumer, they can use it in a number of ways. They can use it to uh, examine the energy efficiency of their home, looking for uh, heat and, and uh, energy leaks through poor insulation. Mm -hmm. They can look for failures in the electrical systems, poor connections and overloaded wiring. Okay. Um, you can also look for moisture leaks because Okay. moisture enters the wall and, and cools down the surface. Okay, okay. And for the business users, what kind of uh, usage you see? In the business case, they would use it the way they have uh, thermal imaging for many years. They would use it in electrical substations, petrochemical and uh, fertilizer refineries to monitor the condition of their equipment and to avoid catastrophic failures. So does it have a battery of their own? Uh, the case has a battery of its yes, own? Yes. The, the FLIR 1 accessory includes a battery that provides two hours of operation for the device and it's separate from the iPhone battery. So your iPhone battery remains independent. Okay. And can it also be used to charge the iPhone in case the iPhone is running low? No, they're completely okay. independent. They're completely independent. That's okay. right. Okay, okay. So what are the other modes which we have? Well, I, we can go in and um, I can go into the settings and I can switch it to show a thermal which has none of the visible edges in it. I can switch between still images and video recording. And um, then I can switch back to the live image and you'll see those different details in the image without okay. the thermal settings. Okay. And now you see the camera so that when I hit the record button, I'll record a video clip. Okay. And I'm just calibrating it now so that I can read temperature again. Okay. It's very easy to use, simple user interface and uh, very low cost compared to traditional technology. So do you also see the usage of this particular accessory, especially for those people who do a camping a lot or those who Absolutely. are photographers, especially the wildlife photographers? Absolutely. And you can use it at night because thermal imaging, the picture would look exactly the same in total darkness. If I could okay. shut the lights off in this hallway, it'd be the same. So at night, in my neighborhood, for example, we can see coyotes and, and squirrels and animals at night that you cannot see with your visible eyes. And wildlife specialists love that. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.